It's total bullshit. It's he's he's got a point. He's got a Chrome's got a good point here. Okay, so he's in BC, you know, saying goodbye to Al well Calgary, up in that part of Canada, Western Canada, and he goes into a gym, and um, you know you can work out. You got to have your wet mask on. You can use the sink. You can use the potty, <laughs> the potty, uh, but the showers are closed. Why close the showers? You know, I mean, you know, the showers are going to wash all the germs away, right? So why do you close the showers? So that's that's what there. Yeah. What's the logic behind that? <laughs> you can use the sink, yeah, but you can use the potty and you can you can breathe heavily there in the gym as long as you got your mask on and are socially distant, but you can't take a shower. Duh. Yeah, I, you know, hey, it's, you know, Ill it's, as, as Captain, as, what is his name, Captain Spock, Mr. Spock would say, Captain Chrome, that's illogical. What does he end up doing? Taking a shower in the sink, you know? What do my mom used to call it? He used to call it a sponge bath. I don't think he ever used a sponge, but, you know, if you didn't have a shower or a bathtub and you needed to get clean, you could kind of you know, get some uh, washcloths wet and kind of scrub yourself down a little bit. It's better than nothing, but it's not much better than nothing, right? Man. I, I, I think, what, what was that? What did we call it? What did we call it? And sponge bath. Sponge bath. Oh, sponge bath. Right, right. And he said that. You, you, you know, you can get, you go out and get some water and you can heat it up on your little stove there in your van, your van, and then you can do a sponge bath. A sponge bath. So that's what you do when, you know, the powers that be shut down the showers. That'll wash away all the germs that you get on you, right? That's a good thing, right? It's like, you know, it's like washing your hands. No, you're washing your whole body. That's a good thing to get rid of all the germs, you know, the, those germs, you know, the variant, whatever. And yet, no, no, you know, now, you know, now I guess if people were clustering together in the shower, you know, <laughs> like, you know, Massive humanity, that would not be good, but you're in the shower by yourself, right? In fact, he was in a restroom there, one of those like Starbucksy restrooms, you know, where you close the door and lock it so you're all the only one in the restroom. And, and, and there's just, you know, whatever, you can't, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't, yeah, I totally understand Chrome here. I, I don't get it at all. all. Right, so he's getting out of Calgary, Alberta there, so uh, heading back to BC and, uh, and I guess some warmer weather. I don't know. The cold Canadian winter is eventually settling in. I, I like his. I like looking at all the uh, tags he has there on his via, on his uh, van. I mean, on his uh, video. Really, really. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, hear, I guess so. That'll get you some more views. I don't know. Okay, we haven't checked with Samantha Aller Olmstead there. She is now uh, New York Van Life Wicked on Broadway. Yes, yeah, she is. Uh, you know, again, she's the flight attendant that uh, is based out of, uh, what is it, LaGuardia? Or I think it's LaGuardia. Anyway, uh, for a, a na an airline we will not name, and she lives in her van. And what's it like to live in the van in the, si the big city there? Anyway, uh, partying with friends and going out on, see Wicked on Broadway. Right, all the, uh, club, all the clubs and the theaters are all reopened there. Yeah, so uh, very good. Nice time there. Good times there for uh, Miss Ms. Olmstead. Oh, those memories, memories of Sturgis will live on all year long. If you subscribe to Prime Cut Pro. <laughs> he took a lot of video there at Sturgis, which was a month or so ago. And, uh, you know, a lot of the lovely ladies there at the beautiful, uh, wondrous Sturgis event there in South Dakota. And, uh, and, and, you know, he did a lot of videos and uh, we're now reliving all those wonderful days at beautiful Sturgis. Oh, I don't know if I can show, I, I can't show this. I, I, I can't show that, but uh, he can, I guess. I don't know, the YouTube bots are gonna get ya. <laughs> Full throttle saloon. Sturgis, he should just call himself Sturgis 365. You can be at Sturgis all year long. And, you know, and yeah, you don't, it never, and Sturgis forever, it never stops on Prime Cut Pro. Let's check that. Yeah, so there he is. And then we got Daytona Beach Week. Yeah, so, uh, you know, just back and forth and back and forth there. Anyway, 
Anyway, yeah, all right. So uh, look at them all. Ain't, ain't they beautiful? I got to get caught up in some of my uh, my uh, channels. I haven't watched this channel in a while. I just need to get caught up on it. I just need to get caught up on it. I just need to get caught up on it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We don't talk about it anymore. We don't talk about, we don't talk about him anymore. Harold Balder. Harold Balder used to go Africa and Indonesia and all these crazy places and he's in the Pacific. He's in. He's in. I, don't, I always keep calling it the Pacific Southwest. It's the uh, Southwest in Vegas. Oh, good. We need a. We need videos. More videos of Vegas. Everybody and his brother and sister has gone to Vegas over and over and over again. So Harold, thank you. <laughs> What? It, what? What? This is Randy the Mobile Traveler. Hey, Crotchy, he's got a puppet. Oh, wow! Randy the Mobile Traveler's got a puppet. Look at this. Wow! Randy's channel got hijacked by Cruz and Carl and his puppet. <laughs> All right, Randy is uh, down there in Texas, apparently. That is where he is. That's his updated position. And he's got some friends he's hanging out with there and live streaming. And he is... Uh, Getting ready to head to Lollapalooza, I am told by several sources, so we'll see. A lot of folks heading over there to uh, Abilene, Texas uh, for the October 30, 21st, excuse me, October 21st unveiling at uh, the beautiful Lollapalooza there in Texas with uh, Lost on Land again, Lola. And we presume that uh, Derek's going to be there and uh, Randy's going to be there and uh, who knows, who knows who else. <laughs> uh, don't do politics on his channel. We don't do politics on his channel. Anyway, just to mention, thought we'd mention this. Let me mention that. Uh, mm. CRVL, Minnesota. We got Camper Van Kenny there up in Flagstaff, Arizona, uh, with a lot of the dogs. We got an old video from Pandemonium. She, she really needs to get caught up. Aja, her videos are so old. I mean, Gosh, you know, she's been like five different places ever since, you know, we're watching these old videos. She needs to just sit down and edit them all and get them up in like a binge session, put them all up in one day. Because she is, she's so far behind, man. Many things mixed up Rico, though. The Rico is uh, Lainey's husband, and Lainey and Rico were the busking bohemians, and now there's a video up here. I don't know. I'm, I'm confused. I'm, I'm losing it. Am I right or wrong? Am I totally off track there? I, I, I guess I've subscribed to Busking Bohemians. They used to do the Party R there at the um, RTR way back when, and this thing just popped up. Uh, it's like, and, and I did think Lainey, uh, Lainey Will Travel, whatever that channel's name is, you know, the lovely lady with the bus now that you broke down, had the fire there back in April. Um, anyway, um, and she was talking about how Rico was her husband and Rico came back and now they're hanging out together. I'm getting mixed up. I'm sorry. I may be totally off base here. Can someone fill me in on the background here? This is Lainey's video here and there. I guess that's Rico, right? I don't know. I'm confused. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, Lainey will travel a mini concert by the Busking Bohemians. And there they are. Okay. I'm, I'm figuring, I'm gradually figuring things out here, putting things together from way back when. I remember the busking bohemians, right? Right, that was Lainey. That, that, that. <laughs> then they broke up and got back together again. This was Lulu burning back in April. That was her old, uh, her old RV there that caught on fire. And then she uh, did a GoFundMe and raised some money and got that bus. And uh, she was working on that. And now Rico's back in her life. And the bucking, the bus, the busking, the bu the bu What is it called? The busking bohemians are back. They're back, and they're jamming. And you're really smart, you figured it out. I know. Can't start a fire without a spark, or without a lighter. Crazy Quaddy, starting a fire without a lighter. Solo, solo truck camping there, yeah. Oh yeah. And uh, some, some, some good, uh, some good vittles and some good, uh, what is that? Looks like uh, prune juice there he's drinking, huh? <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> Chad, what is it? How do you ch engine swap on your tiny home on wheels on a 94 GMC Vandura G3500 5.7L Vortec? That is the uh, entire line to Alpine. Wow. After removing the uh, last few parts of that thing, the exhaust manifold, yeah, they're doing an engine swap on this vehicle. 
Man, and that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool there. Tide line to Alpine. They are almost 10,000 subs. And the engine is out of the van. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's a pretty cool vehicle. I like that. Else have I been watching uh, regular cars guys there, Brian and his friend, um, whatever his name is, the uh, Ford C10 1974 Chevrolet. Piece of junk, piece of crap pickup there. But, uh, you know, some of them are still on the road. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, this was good, fascinating horror, the great smog of 1952 there. A lot of folks, the big air inversion over London built, you know, it was December. A lot of the fires, coal fires, coal plants, all this smoke. People got sick. Horrible stuff. And... Uh, Good, but a good video there from uh, Fascinating Horror. I always enjoy that. This is a good video from CNBC, The Aging American Car. Why more and more Americans are driving old cars. They're driving really old, junky, beat-up cars today. You know, they're keeping them on the road for various many reasons. So, uh, I don't know that. You know, whatever. But I just wanted to do that, show you that, because this is... Camo Dave, this is my uh, little little Adam, little Adam, my 19, or excuse me, my 2006 uh, VW Golf Rabbit. Just today, 7 million miles on the engine. Yeah, I've got a couple of warning lights here. I need a, I got a bulb out. I think it's one of my headlights. I've never repaired my uh, window washer thing. It just drained out. I've just left it like that. I'll get it next time I get inspected. Anyway, but seven million miles for little Adam. Ooh, they and 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 uh, Scotty Kilmer says VWs aren't any good, huh? <laughs> I was going to the store to get some uh, cleaner for the. Uh, yeah, I do got to clean this up. <laughs> hey, got some letters, 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 letters. Uh, we're talking about the Gabby and Brian thing. Everybody's talking about the Gabby and Brian thing. Brian, but not that Brian. Brian Garrow says, uh, the media is so burnt out on global situation news stories. The medical stories have become politically charged. The Gabby, sto the Gabby story is still much less divisive. Not totally cool and mundane, but better than a typical pandemic story. Yeah, I think people are just getting tired of the pandemic stories constantly in the news. And, you know, the post-election stories and another recount in Arizona. And now, you know, at least the Gabby story gets kind of back into that, hmm, the who, a good who done it. It can kind of get people's minds uh, off of a lot of the uh, current events these days. Pizza, Earth, Pancakes, and Other Mashed Potatoes says, as long as dog, oh, Dave the Dog Hunter, Dave the Dog Hunter and Bounty Camo were on the case, I think... Brian Laundrie will have a hard time staying hidden. We're keeping an eye out here. I've got the Camel Army a activated to look out on the Appalachian Trail. You know, the Appalachian Trail comes right through this area here of Western North Carolina. We're, we've got spotters on the trail looking for him, okay? Just, um, you know, and they've got the FBI on the speed dial, so. Little Adam deserves a bath today, says A.C. Gillespie, complete with a windshield rub and a lights display rub. Yeah, <laughs> it hasn't rained here in uh, North Carolina in like two weeks now, and Little Adam is uh, pretty dirty. That's uh, Little Adam's car wash is whenever we get one of those gully washer thunderstorms. Gold Digger says, you're guilty the moment the police say you're under arrest, unless you have lots of money. Hmm, interesting. That's food for thought here in the good old U.S. of A., where you used to be innocent until proven guilty. Uh, Ryan C. says, looks like you need to cover your nose and mouth when you sneeze in Little Adam in my car. Yeah, the, it's, it's, it's Camo Dave's car as well, the Delta variant mutated. I don't know. The old lady says, uh, don't be that big deal. It's not a big deal to hit 70,000 miles. My Acura MDX is also an 06 and has 178,000 miles. Wow. And A.C. Gillespie says her, her Acura has 150,000 miles, but it was 120 when she bought it in 07. Wow. Wow. Well, good. You know, a VW, 70,000 miles. 
you know, German engineering, you know, that's uh, that says something, doesn't it? Uh, Hubs1105 says, I don't believe that news coverage and public opinion would sway a trial. If you look at the big trials over the past few decades when the wrong verdict, quote unquote, was reached, it came to this because of incompetent lawyers and judges. From the Duke lacrosse to the OJ case, uh, the DA in the Duke lacrosse case was trying to make a name for himself, as were the detectives. I recommend, I recommend a documentary on ESPN called Fanat Fantastic Lies. It is excellent. The OJ case, uh, as well as the prosecution, botched that. It's been dissected by everyone since then. Anyway, yeah. Edka, and he goes on. Anyway, Hobbs went 11.05. Anyway, some very, very, very good points. Hey, we hear from Papa Texas. I have, uh, Papa Texas says, see you at Lollapalooza. The Papa Texas slash Camo Dave breakfast. Hey, wait a minute. I thought it was the Camo Dave slash Papa Texas breakfast. <laughs> That's the Saturday of Lollapalooza. Uh, what is the 21st? The 21st is, uh, okay, it's a Thursday. So the 23rd, October 23rd, the, okay, Papa Texas Camo Dave Breakfast at Lollapalooza there in Abilene, Texas. Oh, yeah. Should have worn this today. I mean, why not? Anyway, everybody likes my new tie-dyed shirt. I was wearing that on the live stream last night. Uh, El Lobo says tie-dye rules, my uniform of choice, sharp. Yeah, I'm stocking up on a bunch of tie-dyed shirts. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Taylor Rose says, you didn't report on Derek buying a Harley bike. Yeah, Derek got a Harley bike. Okay, check the box. <laughs> and he got a trailer. And he, and he painted the trailer in the same coloring that the, uh, that there was kind of thingies all over it that the, his um, Class A has on it. So, so it all matches. <laughs> RV Butterfly says, dang, where does Derek get all this money to change things from week to week? P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Ding! That's where a good chunk of it comes from. All the cat ladies and all the sympathy. Danny McNally says, as far as Dog the Bounty Hunter goes, at this point, whatever he comes up with for evidence, the FBI probably already knows. Dog is 10 steps behind the FBI and then some. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching uh, Letters and More right here on the Camo Dave channel. It's 29th Wednesday of September 2021. Thank you for watching Vlog Under.